Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're my regular viewers, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So this is another requested video for uh, orange um, sunset, tropical sunset um, from one of my lovely viewers. So I'm starting out with Queen Bee and I'm gonna put that on all the fingernails, just at the bottom. And then I'm gonna be doing an ombre with the rest of the colors. I hadn't forgot about doing this request, um, but I always do try and get it done within um, the week whenever it's been requested. So if you do have any um, sets or looks that you would like me to show you or do, then just pop them in the comments below and I will try my best. So the second colour that I'm going in with is Lava Lamp. All the products today, they're all from Glitter Bells, um, as usual. And Lava Lamp is absolutely one of my favourite colours. So this, the Lava Lamp is going to be in the middle of the nails and I'm going to be ombre and that down into the Queen Bee. And then I'm going to go in with the new one that I got, Holiday Vibe, and that's going to be ombre from the Cuticle down into the Lava Lamp. When I'm doing an ombre, I always work really, really wet. So you'll probably see that um, the acrylic is very, very fluid. It's just so that that um, acrylic isn't going to cure and I can get a really, really nice ombre into the next color. 
again apologies for my monkey nails um i was going to do them today and then i decided to go ahead and do this requested video so tomorrow fingers crossed i should get my nails done So I was just looking at the nails there because I can see there's like a little bit of shadowing going on between the um, holiday vibe and the lava lamp so I'm going to have to go back in and just put a little bit more holiday vibe over that area just to make it all blend together. Yes, I definitely think that was better, just getting in with that um, extra bit of holiday vibe just to um, blend out the shadows. So now I'm going to cap all the nails in glass slippers. I'm only going to show one of the nails being done just to keep the length of the video down for you guys. And then um, we'll go straight into the filing. As normal, I'm doing my uh, normal filing routine. So I'm starting at the side walls. I'm making sure they're really nice and straight. Then I go to the lower arch and I make sure that's nice and straight and coming out in line with the client's nail bed. And then because it's a coffin shaped nail, I go to the free edge and I hold my file vertically. That way um, I can see that the um, free edge is completely straight. And then I go to the, cuti cut <laughs> the cuticle area and I make sure that's nice and flush. And once I've done all that, I keep filing in an upward motion towards the apex of the nail. And that way, that's gonna keep the height of that apex and the nail looking symmetric. So a quick wipe over with some alcohol before I start the nail art. For once, I'm not, I'm not even going to apply non-white top coat. I'm just going to go on straight onto the acrylic. So I'm using my black gel paint and I'm just doing it like, um, like shadow art. So all the art is going to be in black. And I'm just uh, here at the minute, I'm kind of making like the surface of the beach like the grassy area, and then I'm gonna go in and do my pantry. So this, it's a very, very easy and effective um, nail art to do. Because it's all done in black, it really, really stands out against the ombre background. And it's a really, really popular um, nail art for coming up to the summer season. So your clients will absolutely love this.
when I'm doing the palm trees, um, I always do the sort of tree trunk first, and then I go in and I do just the outline of the um, palm leaves. And then while the gel is still wet, I go in, just go along each palm leaf and just sort of bring down some of that gel just to make it look like there's loads of leaves on it. I'm flash curing them as I go along because this little black gel paint it does tend to move it's not like the mystic nails one where you put it on and it just you know stays there this is the your sugar one and I don't I, I don't think I'll buy it again um purely for this reason and it's very like it's almost as if it's a bit like a spider gel although it doesn't stretch but it ha it has that type of feeling with it you know when you're when you're putting your brush into the little jar So on to the ring finger and I'm just doing the palm trees all the same but only on the ring finger there's going to be two palm trees. So on to the pointer finger and I'm starting off with putting like the sun up in the corner um, or you could say it's the moon because I am going to go in and make it look like sort of the light shining on the water and I'm going to do a little boat and shadows and just everything in this nail.
So on the little finger, I'm just going to finish it up with just doing a simple palm tree on this one. And I can't remember whether I do the little birds on on this one as well. I know I think I'd go back in and do it on the middle finger. But um, as I said, it's a really, really simple, easy um, design to do for the summer. And your clients will love it. And it's top coat time. We aren't getting the same effect though because we don't have any glitter on this one. But um, I'm using my favourite top coat which is the Nail Mate one from Glitter Planet. And it's a non-wipe top coat and it's so glossy. I absolutely love this top coat. So here's the finished set guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you have please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel you can do it now. And don't forget about the giveaway I have on one of my other videos, once I hit 500 subscribers I'm going to do the draw. So pop on to the other video, leave your comment, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in the next video.